Hello and welcome to this review of MD2020 Banana Red. Okay, bottled by the 2020 Wine Company, Westfield, New York. Banana Red is a grape wine, here's the disclosure, a grape wine with natural flavors and certified colors. So it's natural flavors, but the colors are food coloring. Serve cold, and I have it cold. So there on the label, you got the bananas. And uh, I guess that's some kind of grapes. I don't know who the illustrator is for the MD2020 series. MD2020 was introduced in 1968 by Mogan David Wine Company. Mogan David 2020. It used to be a 20 ounce bottle with 20% alcohol. Whew, smell that banana already. But now it's generally 13%. Pour too much. 13% and um, either a 375 milliliter bottle like this one, like 12 point something ounces, or the 750, 25.4 ounces. That's what the, this one is in. Uh, some of them you can get even bigger bottles, but um, I haven't seen that around. Okay, so you get some alcohol legs like you would with a liquor. The appearance is uh, red, like a pinkish red, depending on how the light's hitting it. <clears throat> the aroma is strange. Now, can you get MD2020 at a higher ABV than 13%? This I don't know. I have a feeling you can. It's 13% here, but it may vary. And I bought this bottle at Easy Stop, Easy Stop on US Highway 61, right at the junction with Louisiana Highway 44, the eastern terminus of Louisiana Highway 44. And so the man said, make sure you mention my place, Easy Stop, Laplace, Louisiana. I said, I'll mention it. He has good prices, $1.99 for these. Most stores I noticed had $2.49. So it smells like banana. Like um, old bananas that you might put in banana pudding, yeah. And that just, either they get some kind of bottled banana extract, which you can buy, like McCormick's, or um, could be some banana puree from just turned bananas that they somehow get from a supply house. And then there's some underlying grape, grape wine and New York grapes, which always have a bit of a strong, they call it foxy aroma. But the banana smell overrides that, kind of cancels that out, makes it a little nicer. All right, let's go with the taste. building a shed next door. <laughs> um, now in the flavor, it's really more of the grape wine, the New York grapes, and less of the banana. Kind of a heavy mouth feel. The finish is sweet. Hmm. It's a hard one. It's not a bad flavor. It's just um, different kind, of, different kind of flavor. Maybe the most unusual of the ones I've had. There's a little tartness to it. There's some sweetness, but not overriding sweetness. I'm sure they have sugar added or more than likely high fructose corn syrup. Or it could just be regular corn syrup. I don't know. Something sweet. So, give it one more sip. Okay. Like red grapes from the MD2020 people. And um, the sweetener, which is going to either be sugar or corn syrup, 
and a, like a banana pudding, banana puree, but that's a, a small part of the flavor and it's a large part of the aroma. Oh, well, I can't explain it, but that's the way it's coming across. This might be one of the best I've had. Um, I think that peaches and cream was the least favorite so far. The orange jubilee was a little harsh. And the best is the best is so far is or was in my experience the MD twenty twenty gold this twenty twenty the year twenty twenty special edition twenty twenty in twenty twenty which is like pineapple juice mixed with the grape juice no coloring added that one didn't seem like they tried they tr they made a special effort to make it a little higher grade since of the anniversary or specialty product. But this is good too. So the score, I mean, I would say a B, like 84 out of 100. It's in the B range. It's good. Not excellent, but it's good. Uh, for wine overall, how do you even score it? Because these are so exotic and strange. I mean, they got this unusual medicine bottle shape. What do you? Uh, it's hard to figure these things out. They're so peculiar. But anyway, it's good. It exists. <laughs> I don't know what else to say about it. Uh, I'll, I'll try the other ones just for the heck of it, and uh, maybe even some of the other exotic wines that are out there, wine products. So les les bon temps relay. Different type of thing, and I'm going to end this review by saying, y'all come on down to southeastern Louisiana.